Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans. We are at home and I am going to show you guys how to install a bidet. That's right, no more toilet paper shortages for us. We don't care anymore. We are going to own a bidet. Now the bidet that I am going to be installing today, it's a very fairly easy install. Uh, this was given to us by our friends uh, Debbie and Brad for Christmas. And we just haven't installed it yet. And we're like, you know what? What better time to install a luxury bidet? <laughs> it's brought to us by uh, Tibbetts Home. And uh, what does this say here? This is what it looks like. Um, we got no electricity, no batteries, fresh water, self-cleaning, and retractable nozzle system, and reduces toilet paper wash and thoroughly. So, with that being said, let's go install ourselves a bidet. Okay, so here is uh, the bidet itself. Uh, it just attaches to the toilet seat. Uh, very few parts. There's only like, what, four or five parts. Uh, this is to hook it up to the water system. Uh, and then that goes, like I said, onto the back of the toilet. These are directions, but, you know, I'm a man, so, you know, we'll just throw that away. Use the directions! Alright, Becky just yelled at me. I guess I gotta use the directions. <laughs> okay, so to start, we're gonna need uh, a couple tools. So, number one is just a regular flathead screwdriver. Number two is a wrench or a pair of channel locks, just like this. And lastly, just an old beat up towel or something, anything that you, you know, really don't care about. Okay, I hope you can see down here. It's a little dark and pardon our floors, but you know, <laughs> we live here. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna just put uh, the towel underneath here to catch any kind of water or anything that's going to come out any of the excess water that comes out of the tube uh, but first we have to uh, flush the tank turn off the water that's the number one thing so let's turn off this water that way we know that the tank cannot fill back up again okay so water is off and now we are going to flush the toilet uh, just to make it and just to empty the the ba the, the the tank here. Okay. And we know that the tank will not fill back up again. So we're gonna let it go completely down. And I'm hearing all the the magic noises. Perfect. All right. So we now we know that the tank is empty. Okay. So I just lifted up the uh, the back of the toilet just to make sure that the tank is indeed empty and nothing else, uh, no water is filling up inside of it. Okay. Next step is to remove the toilet seat. On most toilets, you just take your flathead screwdriver. Maybe you can just lift it up with your fingers. I don't know. Uh, but you get underneath here, and you. Oops, let me get that in the frame, sorry. And then you just basically pop these up. And then there's a little screw right here. And then underneath is um, like a little, uh, like a washer. Uh, so we just need to unscrew these. So there is the screw that went in there. And this is the little washer I was talking about from underneath. Um, so this, that screw screws into here and then it, attaches itself to the bottom of the toilet. All right, so let's take the toilet seat off. It just comes up just like that. And uh, now we're gonna install the bidet. So here's how this works. You put the bidet on here, and then you move these little brackets back and forth until they uh, even up with the 
with the uh, the holes. And I think I might be having a little problem here. No, no problem. I just forgot to move it over a little bit to give clearance for the seat. Uh, so you line these up with the holes. And then you'll put the toilet seat back on here. And the screws will go right down in here. All right. Put the toilet seat back on. Take our screws and place them back in. So good. All right, put our washers back on the bottom. Best thing to do usually is to hold the washer while screwing down the screw because the lip of those washers sometimes gets caught up on the back of the toilet itself or the side of the toilet I should say. Okay, we won't tighten that all the way down until we get this side done over here. I hope my shoulder is not blocking the shot. Probably is. Okay, make sure our Toilet seat is on, nice and straight, looks like it. And then just do the final turn and a half of... Uh, of tightening it down. Nice and tight, snap our lids back on, and now we're going to uh, do the water and, uh, and uh, connect the water. Okay, so following the letter or the, uh, the directions to the T, to the letter, I have discovered that I probably should have done the water first because now this part is really in the way. Um, but I will do my best uh, so I don't have to take the toilet seat and that back off again. Thanks, Directions. Okay, this may turn into a comedy show really quick. I still have a little bit of gurgling water, so I don't know if our water shut off, even though I've got it as tight as it'll go, I, don't, I think it might still be leaking some water through. So I might be in for a shower and you guys might be in for a show, but we'll see. So because the lighting is pretty bad down there, um, I'm going to, uh, what I have to do is I have to take off the hose from the uh, water supply to the tank, install this adapter uh, so the, the hose will, I'll screw it on this way, the hose will go on here. Here is the new hose. Well, the hose for the toilet will go on here, and then the hose for the bidet will go on to this one here. All right? So, wish me luck. Here we go. Here, we're going to do a little trick shot here. Maybe we can get it from behind the toilet so you can see what I'm doing.
Ah! It is squirting water. Dang it. All right, well, let's just see if I can do this fast then. Now it's spinning. Okay, so that obviously did not work, um, but do not fail. Uh, we do have this extra part. Uh, this is a special adapter. Now this will just attach to the tank instead, and we'll have to hook it up through the tank side. Okay, but that still does not lead or help the problem that I still have spurting water coming out of the uh, of the other end of the uh, uh, of that hose. So for some reason the shut off won't shut off all the way. All right, here we go. So what I wound up having to do, what you what you saw, what was happening, okay. was I had this little piece right here, and this little piece didn't fit. It's metric instead of standard U.S., so it would not fit onto here. So what I had to do was hook that back up, and then put this adapter, that da uh, the adapter that I showed you. I had to put that on and then hook the bidet up through that way. Okay, so we got one going to the floor and the other one going to the bidet. So, of course, nothing can be easy, like I said, uh, but it is installed now. Okay, so the only way that I'm really going to be able to show you how this works is to turn it on. However, it's going to spray what? Fiona? I swear. Come here, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, always got to be curious. So, if you turn the knob this way, it just kind of gets... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was having you hold the, uh, the towel. It got, it got Fiona face. right in the nose, huh? Okay, so... Uh, wow, that's powerful. Yeah, so that's heavy cleaning. <laughs> now, hold, now, you get down. Okay, hold the... The uh, the towel right there, and this is just a little light cleaning for the ladies right there. Which seems a little... Okay, which still seems a little high, but it's uh, beats the bam. <laughs> okay, so that is the bidet. <laughs> Look at how wow. much water that. That is the man. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty soaked. That is pretty soaked. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, yeah. That might be an interesting. <laughs> that's going to be an interesting experience because it it is hooked up to the cold water tap, uh, but that that's the bidet. Who's going to be the first to test it out? I got to pee. Oh, you got to pee. Good. So we'll get a, you know, we won't film Becky doing that, but <laughs> however we will, uh, and I still got to dry up the floor a little bit more, but at least I don't think we're getting any leaks down there. So that is good. I think that is just the residual. So how'd it work back? 
It only hit me in the side butt cheek. Okay, so I gotta adjust it a little <laughs> is what you're saying. Okay, yeah. sounds good. <laughs> Well, I am looking on here, and I, nowhere in the instructions does it say how to adjust it, to turn it, because um, it seems pretty solid, uh, like a solid piece. Um, hmm. Very interesting. Um, so, I'm going to have to look this up and see how this exactly works and see if it can be adjusted. Maybe it has to be adjusted here on the seat where we can turn this a little bit uh, so it aims more right down the middle, shall we say. Okay, I adjusted the bidet. How does it work? It's a game changer. It's a game changer, yeah. huh? It works. <laughs> it's gonna be really nice. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. All right, bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Corona, get out of the house. I read a thing, there's no sneezing in Corona. Right? It's only coffee. No, it's it's just only coffee. coffee. It's a dry okay. cough. Good. I had a dream that Ooh, we all had Becky's corona. making homemade spaghetti sauce. <laughs> yeah. For all you people who think we eat unhealthy, oh, just letting you know, oh, look at all those vegetables in there. Bolognese. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at all those vegetables in there. That's, and that's right. right. There's no Doritos and Cheetos and stuff in there. That's right. No chips. <laughs> See, that's a piece right there. That's a carrot. Those are two carrots right there. Woo. I love carrots. Awesome. Okay. It is a game changer. <laughs> and it, that it was how I had to adjust it. I had to uh, unloosen the, the bolts that keep the toilet seat on and just turn it just slightly so it would be more centered. Uh, but it worked. And there we go. So less use of toilet paper now. Uh, we get to clean our heinies and things via water power uh, <laughs> with our new bidet. So thanks Debbie and Brad for uh, purchasing that bidet. Uh, when they bought it for us, they say this is kind of a two part thing. Number one, it's sort of a joke, but now this was a Christmas time. He goes, it's sort of a joke, but we also want your review on it. So <laughs> yeah, there's our review. This thing works awesome. It works great. Um, and uh, good for uh, good for a boy or a girl. Oh boy! <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you like what you see, as always, give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and we'll see you guys next time on Where the Heck Are the Albans? <laughs> Bye everyone. <laughs>